Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. And remember, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like, and uh, join uh, my family as we journey through this YouTube uh, journey while we share our lives uh, through vlogging, uh, recipes, DIY projects, and a healthy lifestyle. Uh, on this video, I am going to share with you the finished product of our DI project, which I have done in three parts. So this is the third part of the kitchen renovation, and I am showing you the finished product. Uh, one thing I would like to share with you, this was a very budget-friendly kitchen renovation. We did not uh, go out blowing a budget. We actually went really budget friendly. We upgraded through uh, painting our drawers. We bought uh, hardware like handles. We changed the flooring and uh, from whatever we had, I think uh, linoleum we had carpeting, we changed it into uh, vanilla, uh, like serious vanilla, which is cheap and it is actually looking like real wood. So things like this are the things that we upgraded and the kitchen is looking looking absolutely lovely, absolutely on top of the range you would say it I have spent maybe five thousand pounds of which I have I have spent half of that. So without further ado, join me as I share with you and I show you around. Uh, so guys, as I shared with you before uh, if you haven't watched my previous video on my kitchen tour, I would recommend that you do so that you can see how much we have done and put into this kitchen so that you can see the changes that have happened by us changing. Uh, because even though this is a kitchen renovation, it wasn't quite a complete upgrade. It was actually a DIY and... Um, while we changed a few bits other things they actually remained as they are like the kitchen uh, drawers and cupboards they are the same ones we only did upgrade them by painting them from the original color into white and with handles we changed the hardware and put these modern looking ones to give the kitchen a nice good pop i also did uh, upgrade the countertops which as you can see, uh, they have a rustic is laminate countertops, which has a rustic finish, which is something that I use because I kind of like, like the traditional look of a kitchen rather than an uber modern kitchen. Uh, the other thing I did is with the sink, I decided uh, whatever we had before was a stainless steel sink. So I decided to go with this black uh, is a composite granite uh, one and the one thing that i love about this sink is because it's quite deep and i can do more dishes in here and soak more things before i do the washing we also did uh, go uh, for this black tub uh, and i absolutely love it because it has two water features for just the normal and also the spray uh, shower uh, feature for it, which is good for washing fruits and salads and such things. Uh, as you can see, on this bit, there is this space. Thank God my husband was able to adapt it. We removed one um, drawer. Uh, although we lost a drawer, we are going to actually put in a dishwasher which will help with uh, using less water and also it's environmental friendly having a dishwasher than doing the dishes by hand because you tend to use more water and you just want to keep everything uh, quickly done and more more water more energy is being wasted so that way I am thankful that that space was able to be provided and as soon as I get a dishwasher, I will show you uh, what kind I have gotten. 
So on this end, as it was before, I, I did have uh, the countertops, but now, as you can see, I have tried as much as possible to have as much as working, uh, as much as a uh, working service so I can be able to do my recipes and cooking and there's not too much clutter on the uh, cabinets or on the countertops. Uh, on this end, we also did add two shelves. We had originally an, uh, a shelving, but now we added two and here I just decided to put my recipe books and just a few things which I can grab uh, when I'm cooking just to refer to the notes. And I am going and I'm loving uh, the new changes that I did of containing everything and also using labels so that in that way I can be able to get uh, things quickly and easily and everything is accessible. Uh, on this end, as you can see, I have my containments for the knives, for the fruits and also the containment. This one I did buy from IKEA. And I, I love it because I can put a lot of stuff which are semi-hidden. They are not uh, just standing out. They are uh, contained and they are also easily accessible. Uh, on this end, uh, as you can see, is where we still have uh, our microwave. But we also do have the bread uh, bin which was there before and here we usually have three kinds of, of bread because my husband and daughter they use a uh, similar kind of bread my son uses another bread and I use a different kind of bread and I also did uh, buy a new toaster and I like the color because it matches the color of the bread bin uh, so that is something that I really really love I also love that on this end, there was no, no, not this space. So this is an additional space. Like I said before, my husband has added a lot of space when it comes to uh, cont con containment and places to add uh, and add value in, in, in the kitchen. So I have that extra space for putting and um, storing other stuff uh, that I need. And all these drawers, as you can see, they were all uh, in a kind of this kind of color. And then we painted them into uh, white. And you can see they've all turned out to look so very lovely. And here is our cooker. And the one thing I haven't mentioned is the tiling all through my husband tiled. And it has turned out so nice on this uh cooker here as you can see it is all tied up in a different uh, style and the other so standing from this end you can see how uh, the kitchen looks from this angle uh, that's where we have the microwave we have the cooker we have the toaster and we also have the spice jars and on this drawer these drawers there are additional drawers that we removed the original ones because they were quite uh, slim ones and we added those two which have added extra uh, storage. We did not have a, hob, uh, a hood of our, our, our cooker so that is also a, an additional and upgrade uh, on the part of this renovation that we did and also on this side we have the breakfast and uh, place I am planning to have uh, coffee machine and this is where I will also uh, put our coffee machine and as soon as I get it I will also show you how it all turned out. Uh, as I said my husband is a thinker when it comes to storage and this is also one of the one of his ideas we bought a wine rack which has uh, five uh, bottle holders and as you can see it has turned out so lovely and it's just something that you just uh, add value and you just think these things that are there, we bought them separately. So many things that are additions are just things that we bought separately and we combine them and they've turned out and they are working uh, well for our kitchen. On this space, as you can see, there is this extra uh, drawer that we 
hole is a plastic one at the moment is what we are having we are using but eventually my husband is going to put one exactly like this one that we have on this end so that it can be able to match up with uh, the complete look of our new kitchen but at the moment it is working and it's serving us well and it is good as it is so uh, overall that's how our kitchen has turned out and I cannot be more proud of what my husband and I has uh, pulled uh, with limited resources and uh, yeah I do hope uh, if you enjoyed this video please do remember to give us a thumbs up uh, gives, gives us a like uh, send us a, a comment tell us what you think and the next time I will be sure to be sharing something uh, incredible, a recipe from this kitchen. And uh, we will see uh, how it goes. Oh, before I forget, I, we also did uh, add new uh, glass doors. So from the corridor, uh, you can see somebody coming through rather than opening the door uh, in a blind manner. And uh, yeah, this is also... A glass door in my pantry and you can see I can see it almost looks like an extra drawer which is lovely so um, without further ado uh, I will say thank you very much for watching and I do hope to see you in the next one and bye for now